What's up, UP? Wizzy here. And uh, today we're doing another how UP how-to video. And today's topic, how to throw a tomahawk. Let's get into it. So a tomahawk can be used Mostly, for me especially, it's just a scramble shot. If you need to get over something and you can't get a, a good forehand or a backhand over it, you go tomahawk over it. Now, the grip for a tomahawk is you want to hold it like a forehand, except instead of holding it with the top side up, you're going to hold it the other way. And instead of coming from your side, you're going to come from behind your head. Uh, so yeah, like I said, this is to get over something that might be right in front of you, kind of in your way. Um, and you're going to want to up, get up and get some distance. Now the flight <coughs> of a tomahawk is going to vary depending on your disc. But uh, the point of the tomahawk is to go over your head, kind of swoop to the right if you're right handed, and then finish left. Uh, this might be different depending on how flippy your disc is. A uh, more flippy disc is going to tend to flip faster and come out of that and finish left sooner. A more stable disc is going to hold that longer, flatten out, and then finish. So it kind of depends on what shot you're looking for as to what disc you're going to throw. Now this can be done either from a run up or from a standstill. Um, depending on how strong you are with your overhand throws, a run up might get you more distance, uh, but it's totally up to you. It's totally up to the situation too. If you, th if you wanna get a run up and throw your uh, tomahawk, great. If you have to stand still and just lean back and throw it, that will work as well. It's kind of dependent on the situation. This is more of a scramble shot for your average player. So like I said, when you're coming in, it's, even if it's a standstill or run up, you're going to take the disc and grip it as you would a forehand. And you're going to come with the disc flipped upside down from back over your head and finish flick. And like I said, this is going to cause the disc to start going right, flip over and finish left. And it's going to depend on the disc whether it's going to finish sooner or later. Flippier will finish sooner, overstable will finish later. Now this is a very strenuous throw on your shoulder. Um, that overhead motion, unless you've been playing baseball your whole life and or football and maybe you're used to that motion, then it might not hurt as much. Um, but someone like myself who didn't play any baseball or football growing up, after a while your shoulder gets pretty sore. So you are gonna wanna warm up your shoulder a lot before doing one of these throws and just be aware that the harder you throw it, the more pain it could cause. Um, but like I said, very useful tool to get out of a, a jam, good scramble tool. Make sure to th practice it and throw it in your bag. And yeah, warm your shoulder up because it's gonna hurt. Thanks for tuning in everybody. If you like this how-to, make sure to like, subscribe, it'll really help us out. Uh, throw a comment if you'd like us to show you anything else. We do have more in the works, but if we would, anything you would like to see specifically, don't be afraid to let us know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.